Addiction Recovery Cares Hospital Division, ARC Healthcare, is expanding into the old Belfont Hospital. So to tell us more about this, we have Tim Hatfield, the market president of the healthcare division, uh, joining us today. And happy two-week anniversary, because you all just opened. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, uh -huh. We did open up on November 20th, and we're very excited to be in the region. Uh -huh. uh, I think we all know a large need for behavioral health care, and especially coming out of pandemic, if you take a look at the numbers, those numbers are continuing to increase not just across Kentucky but across the United States so mm -hmm. a great opportunity for ARC to expand our service line rich heritage tradition and addiction recovery care and when you take a look at the numbers of our addiction recovery mm -hmm. residents you see a big need there for uh, behavior health type services so, so the need the need was there yes, and you saw the opportunity so it seemed like a perfect fit perfect marriage so to mm -hmm. speak uh, when you take a look at uh, our individuals going through addiction recovery here, about 53% of those individuals exhibit one or two uh, serious mental health illnesses. Mm -hmm. So to diagnose those individuals or if they've been diagnosed and get them on the medication so they right. can fulfill the program, because what we focus on is the first seven days is very critical in addiction recovery care. So if we can get those individuals into a behavior health unit for short term uh, chronic management, mm -hmm. care management, then we get those meds lined up and hopefully they'll have a success. Successful uh, experience in addiction recovery care. Yeah, this is, that's uh, you're addressing both uh, the addiction and mental illness right there. And you mentioned a little about the first phase of this project. So, what do you see as the next phase? What's going to be coming next? Well, this is the first phase of the project. Mm -hmm. This is the 40 bed behavior health unit. Uh, mm -hmm. It's on the campus of Our Lady of Belfont, formerly known as Our Lady of Belfont, there in the Greenup County area. So, those 40 beds opened up on the 20th of November. The second phase of this project will be at the large hospital of Belfont on the Hill, mm -hmm. and that will be our addiction recovery beds as well as our chemical dependency beds. So we're looking, but that's under construction right now. So we're looking, forecasting probably early to late summer uh, oh, to have okay. that completed in phase two. So once that's completed, we'll have up to 200 to 250 addiction recovery beds there, as well as 24 chemical dependency beds. So, you know, to have a footprint like that on right. one campus is almost unheard of in the state of Kentucky and in our neighboring states too. So to have those service lines and have individuals on one campus to meet mm -hmm. multiple needs is, is very exciting. It probably something like that on that scale, you would have to travel multiple states away to get that kind of a care. And I'm sure it's important for folks going through recovery to have a family or a friend support system nearby. So you know, well, it's, it's nice. I think that's valuable because if you take a look at the data with the National uh, Association of Mental Illness uh, uh, back in 2021, if you look just at the state of Kentucky, mm -hmm. the percentages were staggering. 43% of the individual citizens of Kentucky uh, when they've responded to a survey, it said that they had a concern with depression or anxiety. Yeah. The bigger issue with that survey is that 22% of those individuals found it very challenging to find a location for a mm -hmm. consult or follow-up care. Mm -hmm. You fast forward to February of 2023, the numbers have only went down slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, Kentucky is about 37% of the total population identifies with a concern with uh, addiction recovery as well as anxiety and depression. Uh, the national average is at 32 mm percent -hmm. so we have a lot of opportunity to help a lot of people having that family dynamic I think yes. we both know living in Appalachia yeah. you know it's, it's all about important. it's all about family mm -hmm. keeping that individual close to their family uh, keeping them close to their extended family and church families are very important mm -hmm. for success yeah okay so let everybody know how they can get in touch with you if they do have a loved one that needs your services sure uh, we've got several ways that you can get in touch with us uh, we have what's called an intake line so mm -hmm. if you have an individual or you are an individual uh, experience some uh, chronic issues with behavioral health you can call our intake number at 606-220-2900 uh, a couple other ways that you can actually become a patient of ours number one you can be transferred from another facility to our facility here in Ashland Kentucky you can also walk in at our facility and be uh, have an evaluation done which 
which is really neat. So uh, you can call the intake number is 606-220-2900. Uh, you can walk in uh, or you may be in another hospital and actually be transferred to their facility. So a lot of different mechanisms that you can actually be evaluated and uh, be considered for a uh, short-term patient care experience. And, and I'd like to also highlight, we're looking at a chronic care type program with our behavioral health program. So average stay for us would be about three to eight days uh, okay. on our unit. Uh, and then it would be a transition, what we would call continuum of care. You'd have long-term placement for additional care uh, outside the it's inpatient right setting. Here. Yes, ma'am. Tim, great talking to you. Thanks for what you all do. My pleasure. I appreciate <laughs> you having me on today. Yeah.